morons of the month. Who do we got? Well, I did the research. So, uh, we'll start with the Kansas man who went to dinner with his wife and shot his wife when he reached into his pocket where he was keeping his gun. Shot his wife in the leg. His wife is okay. Didn't kill his wife. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty... You know what? That goes to the whole conversation about responsible gun ownership. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's nominee number one. <laughs> nominee number two is a security guard. And I'm sure everybody's heard this story by now. A security guard hired after the whole uh, shooting in, in uh, Connecticut. Uh, he is a, a retired sheriff's officer and gun instructor. He managed to leave his unloaded, noted, unloaded <laughs> weapon, his unloaded gun in the bathroom, This one of the bathrooms that the students use. And this is a K through eight school. Wow. So he just leaves a gun laying around. Good job. A uh, Colorado man um, got into an altercation with a, fr a, a friend of his and a friend of his son. Mm -hmm. uh, the man is 26. The man he got into an altercation with, he's in his 50s, but he got into an altercation with uh, this 26-year-old man, uh, got him to move out. The man came back for his stuff. Uh, the 26-year-old comes back for his stuff. He ends up shooting, s repeatedly shooting at this person that he's mad at and ends up only shooting his son. Where is this again? Kansas? Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. Man in Colorado shoots the guy. He's trying to kill the guy who was living with them and is moving out and ends up shooting his son instead. So, again, yes. this goes to training. This goes to anger management. You know, uh, he ends up shooting his son. You know what? I'm glad he's a bad shot. He's going away for attempted murder now. Oh, no. And he shot his son as a bonus. His son's okay. His son will Thank God. <laughs> um, there's a man that they are calling Bob. Because um, they're not releasing his real name. But apparently he was making a good six-figure salary. And he decided he wanted more time to look at cats on the internet and hang out on Reddit. <laughs> so Bob outsourced his job to China. <laughs> he paid... Favorite. He paid a man in China one-fifth of his salary to do his job. And apparently, he did a better job because his productivity went up. <laughs> the, the dude in China. The dude in China yeah, wow. did a better job in him. Um, yeah, so eventually, they figured it out. Um, they, tra they traced the guy in China back to his... Um, uh, he, the thing the, you were saying he should have hid, what was that? The, the His IP address. Yeah, they probably traced him to his IP address because the guy wasn't smart enough to set a VPN up at his Actually, house. Actually, no, no, no. They traced, it to, they traced it to his VPN. They figured out that there was somebody accessing the server from China, and they traced the, the, the access to China. Are you sure it's not his encryption key? To like, like, no, his VPN. They traced it to his VPN. Well, how's... I don't know. I'm not a computer guy. <laughs> Well, I'm saying so, like he could have set a VPN up at his house and routed the connection to work, and it would for, to them it looked like is it's him at work. Right, online. but apparently in their security sweep, they realized that it was coming from that there was ultimately coming from China. What they thought was that somebody hacked his computer at home and was accessing the company that way. So they thought he was the victim at first, and then they investigate. They find out he had he fifty gigs of cat pictures in his browser cache. Well, it wasn't just that. It was also the invoices for the money he's sending the guy in China. Oh, God. <laughs> so he's fired now. Um, <laughs> so, and then there is the uh, man in Georgia. The, a man in Georgia who was an abusive husband. Um, he went to his ex-wife's house after the restraining order put in place oh, and he was waving around a rifle and being all kinds of threatening so the police show up they tell him to drop the gun so what does he do he points his he points his gun at the police and they mowed his ass down what I'm an guessing. idiot well what oh a, sorry a moron moron <laughs> uh a moron a dead moron 
actually. Wow. Yeah. You don't point your gun at cops. Wow. Here in Jackson, they had that guy in Bay Meadows rob a bank, and the cops ended up putting like 120 rounds into the car, hit two kids and the mom yeah. for the, of the car he stole. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and so you point a gun at him. Yeah. He, he, probably, had, he probably has like 500 holes. That guy was just running away. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, there is uh, the Gun Appreciation Day. Which I believe was today, the nineteenth of January. Um, one, they're putting Gun Appreciation Day really close to when we honor a man who was murdered, who was assassinated. Okay, <laughs> which is an interesting thing. And you know what? I was willing to give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe that was just some sort of like bad timing idea, and it had nothing to do with, you know. Uh, trying to upstage Martin Luther King Day by, I don't know. Is it the same weekend? Showing support, yeah. Oh, say, say, showing support for uh, guns that killed Martin Luther King. <laughs> but, yeah. He would but totally though, be pro-gun. Yeah, yeah really. Um, well, you know, if he had a gun, he could have psychically knew where his uh, assassin was and shot him. Yeah, counter-sniped him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is that is if he had a gun, and he was psychic. Right. Yeah, and knew how to counter snipe. I, I, I hear, I hear. Uh, Martin Luther <laughs> oh, King geez. Jr. has uh, some amazing hand-eye coordination and some awesome reflexes. So I, I think he could have pulled it <laughs> off if he had the resources at the time. Yeah. However, uh, I, I'm not giving them the benefit of the doubt on this because they are sponsored by a group called A3P, which is. Uh, a third party, oddly enough, is what their thing is. And they are listed as a white supremacist group. They don't come right out and say they're a white supremacist group. They just say that they are the third political party that is necessary to look out for the needs of the white man. Because apparently the Republican Party isn't white enough for them. So it's... They're basically and, and I'm sorry. The Republican Party is pretty white. <laughs> yeah. Even Colin Powell's. Well, you know what? Colin Powell, the, 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 Colin Powell does he, not. He's, he, he's pretty conservative, and they're, they're, they're bashing him lately. Well, I forget they're, what they're, he said. I'm off the they're top of my bashing head. him because he pointed out that Republicans nowadays keep saying racist shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, wow. so, so, so the few... The few non-white people they have, they're alienating their own people and trying to push them out of the party. You know what? There, um, to be fair, there are, there are people like uh, Thomas Sowell. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, there are people like uh, Clarence Thomas. There are people um, like the, the Godfather's Pizza guy. I don't even remember his name anymore. It was one of their presidential candidates. Mm -hmm. They love these guys. And... Um, Oh, and the, and the, the uh, Alan West, uh, further down in Florida, um, former Republican congressman. Uh, you know, these guys are, are, are somewhat popular amongst Republicans. And, you know, they tow the party line just, just as well as Rush Limbaugh, really, for the most part. You know, it's, it's the ones who are old school Republicans, like, um, and really we're, we're talking about... Uh, Colin Powell here, who's an old school Republican, he is he is a Republican, but he's an old school Republican. You know, you look at Republicans. Yeah, you know, Ronald Reagan wouldn't fit into this Republican Party anymore. Uh, Nixon would be too liberal for the Republican Party now. Um, Eisenhower would be. Whoa, far too liberal for the uh, Republican Party today. And he's one of my favorite Republican presidents. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they make it out like this is still the party of Lincoln. Mm -hmm. the, the party of Lincoln was a liberal party. You know, the, this, this is not that party. This isn't even... Uh, this isn't even the, the, the party of Reagan anymore. It's yeah, the Tea okay. Party. And they, they deify... Reagan, but they they do it the same way that they deify Jesus, where they don't listen to a damn word he said and just cherry pick say, the parts they like. Yeah, and... they, they just say he was awesome, and um, oh, that that shit about the poor, we're not doing that. But you know, 
Um, get a job. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, Jesus said, you know, get a job, you bum. Yeah. To all the poor he didn't gather. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and, I, and, I love, <laughs> and I love how they assume that everybody who disagrees with them is a bum and a moocher. Yeah. Anyway, it's like, gentlemen. They pay, tax, they pay taxes too. Just putting that out there. Oh, and remember, he always charged a copay before he healed somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a funny um, little meme. So, wait, wait, wait. So, so, like I cannot oh, wait, wait. There is, one, there is one last, sorry, there is one last nominee. Uh, for how many Warren nominees? Month. Seven total. Okay. Um, there is a wife who had been cheating on her husband, and the husband wasn't moving out of the house fast enough because they were getting divorced. He wasn't moving out of the house house fast enough. So the wife and the brother got together and decided they were going to hire somebody to break into the house to scare him into moving faster. So how? The guy came in with a fake gun and was going to basically rob the house so that the guy would be scared about living there and want to move out. Brilliant plan. Until, of course, the husband took a knife and slit the guy's oh, throat. fuck. <laughs> so, like a boss. Fake burglar. There you go. Go on, dude. You lose. Yeah. I take it the wife and his brother are locked up now. Yeah, because they basically caused the guy's death. <laughs> I mean, it's not the Felony husband's murder. It's no. not the Gosh. husband's fault. He thought he was being robbed. So basically, he came in with a gun. He grabbed a knife, took care of business. That's so, so, so basically, just <laughs> sum things up. He gets the house, the car, and the kids. Pretty much. Okay. I don't. I hope there were no kids in that relationship. Yeah, <laughs> so. they'd have to be fucked in the head after dealing with that couple. Um, yeah. And this is why abortion is a good thing. I yeah. don't know, guys. Because I... <laughs> so, you don't want these people to have to be in parents. I'm personally against abortion, but I am mm -hmm. for women's rights to choose. So, so you're against it for you, but you're not making the choice for everyone else. I'm against saying. it for anybody, really, to be honest with you. But if, but it is, in my so opinion... So you are personally opposed to it, but you're not going to make that choice for anyone else. No, because it's a woman's right to mm -hmm. choose and make a decision for her own self. You, the uh, Catholic Church and could learn a lot from you. Well, it, Joe Biden said the same thing in his uh, vice presidential debate. Where he said, as a Catholic, I am against abortion. Yes. But as a politician, or as a, as a man, I understand that's not my choice. It is not my job as a politician to impose my religious view on everyone else. Mm -hmm. Who is our moron of the month? I, I like the dude in China. You like the guy who outsourced his job to China? <laughs> yeah. I do not want that to happen to any of the IT guys here in America, just to let you know. But well, he did, funny. It, he, he did it to, it to himself. himself. He right. outsourced his own job. He outsourced his own job. He was still getting paid a six-figure salary. He just gave one fifth of it that that money to someone else so he could watch. Who cats. ended up actually doing better? Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Well, you know what? He was lazy to be. We know he was lazy because he didn't want to do his job. <laughs> he was home to begin with. He, yeah, he didn't want to do his job from home so bad that he let someone else do it <laughs> so he could watch. So he could look at cat videos and and, and fucking lurk on Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So who's your pick? I'm going to have to go with that, too. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, fucking moronic at the same time. <laughs> okay. Um, honestly, uh, I'm going to go with the guy who shot his wife, personally. Damn uh, it. We have crew members here. Um, we have Brit. Desperate tiebreaker. Well, there's no tiebreaker. Um, Brett, come on. Who, who's your pick for more in the month? Out of those candidates. Assuming you listen to anything that we say over here. <laughs> oh, the guy that shot his kid. Guy who shot his kid while shooting at someone else that he completely missed. Guy in Colorado. 
And you. I'm gonna have to go with the guy that shot his wife. Guy who shot his wife. Okay. So we got a tie. So we got a tie. Um, tie goes to. Can I to... vote again? No. Um, <laughs> it, well, it's your show, so your vote counts as more. So we'll, we'll go with the man who outsourced his job to China. Coming in a very close second, or really tied, is the man who shot his wife while at dinner. Because, you know, a pocket is a great place to keep a gun. With a bullet chambered. With a bullet chambered and a safety off. Because, you know, that's just the smart thing. The, the a lot of guns in your pocket don't really have safety off. Yeah, a lot of modern guns don't have safeties. They got and the little trigger... The moron bronze medal goes to the Colorado man who shot his son while aiming at another human being. I, I think I think he lacked aim. I don't think you could say he was aiming at somebody. He was just <laughs> shooting at somebody. Okay. He, he, he was probably doing the, uh, what, what do they call it? The super gangster? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. He's like <laughs> talking trash, throwing the bullets. <laughs> like, get off my lawn, boy. I, I don't even know how you met it. How do you shoot it? How, how do you shoot at one guy? I mean, were, were they standing like next to each other? Or I, I don't get this. Just, who, who shoots at somebody when their son's standing next to any? I, mean, that's, I guess you know, there's your bronze medal winner. The silver goes to the man who shot his wife because he's an idiot. And the gold goes to China. 